What's up everyone, it's Goose and today I'm craving Pringles. Last time we compared the 2203 model on the Quad Cortex with the 2203 model that was newly released on the HX Thump XL. And I think in that video, a lot of us came to that conclusion that the Quad Cortex sounded great with a lot of high gain, but the mid gain tones were a little bit bassy and not really indicative of kind of the upper mid aggression you get from like a 2203. So here's a little refresher of how that went. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of you agreed. It was a little bit bassy. I didn't think it sounded terrible, but it didn't quite sound like a 2203 in my opinion. Uh, Leon Todd had also done a comparison between the 2203 models in a bunch of different units. And he had also mentioned that for the Quad Cortex model, he had to bump the presence up quite a bit compared to all the other models in the list to sort of get it to sound in line with them. Again, I opt to do things with the same settings so you can kind of get more of a, an idea of how much range you have within the dials themselves. Because a big part of amps are the pot values on the amps themselves. But shout out to this commenter because technically we can just capture the model on the HX Stomp with the Quad Cortex. So that's what we're doing today. Before I move on, if you like the guitar gear content you're seeing on this channel, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It greatly helps the channel. So I decided to capture the 2203 model that I had dialed in last time on the HX Stomp XL with the Quad Cortex. As you can see from this, I am capturing just the amp block. I basically had the Quad Cortex set up to treat the HX Stomp XL like an amplifier. In that case, I only captured the amp block in the HX Stomp XL. The settings will be the same as in the previous video. And with the captured Quad Cortex, we'll also dive into kind of how you can tweak it after you've captured the amp. Speaking of the settings, in the last video, some folks were mentioning that it might not be so fair to compare them with the modeled overdrive rather than like the same overdrive, like an analog overdrive going into both of them. And I tried that in a video a while back. It didn't really make that much of a difference. And I think it's also important to test how these units handle their gain staging between blocks. Ultimately, all of these units are all in one units. And just like how overdrives and cabs even are an integral part of an entire analog rig, the drive blocks in these units, as well as how these units process your loaded IR should be factored into the overall sound. And so thus, once again, we're gonna be using the modeled SD1 in both of these units. I also understand that I could just capture the drive block of the Helix, but eh. And the cab blocks will be using the same IR just like last time. The guitar I'm using to do the comparison is this Kiesel solo with DiMarzio Illuminators in the bridge. Uh, tuned to C standard. Once again, we'll be doing some mid gain tones with my volume test, which is usually just full volume, minimum volume, and then half volume, as well as high gain tones. One last thing, the captured 2203, I did do some adjustments to it because after capturing without any adjustments to the actual amp block itself, it didn't sound quite right. <laughs> So yeah, it sounded a little thin compared to the Helix model and was a little bit boxy, but because the capture lets you fiddle with some like settings after the capture, I added a bit of gain, uh, a little bit of bass, and then cut a little bit of the mids just to get rid of a little bit of that boxiness. So with those adjustments, I think we can do the comparison more properly. Let's start with the mid gain comparisons. Again, this will also include that volume test I mentioned earlier, and let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
So my thoughts are they sound more similar than the stock model on the Quad Cortex, but they still don't quite sound the same. I think both of them do sound good though. And so remember that the adjustments I'm making to the amp block after the capture uh, isn't component modeled. And what component modeled means is like something like the HX stomp, the dials actually correspond to the actual dials you should get in the real amp. Whereas on the quad cortex with the captures, uh, the knobs that you're adjusting for the bass, middle, and treble, and the gain will not be corresponding to the actual amp. They're more like a filter after the amp block. So because the dials aren't one-to-one, -one, it's actually really hard to get them to sound exactly alike. But to the quad cortex's credit, I do like the capture a lot more than the stock 2203. It's got a slightly different flavor of gain to it, but it's also kind of cool sounding along with that voicing of a 2203. So yeah, I think it sounds great. All right, so let's move on to the high gain riffs. So once you put more gain into the quad cortex, I always feel like this is where the quad cortex shines. Even if the amp models aren't accurate, once the gain is added, these amp models do sound really good. And so again, without the actual corresponding knobs, I can't adjust it other than their kind of post EQ filtering. But actually with that, you get some flexibility as well. It's kind of like adding an EQ in a loop of an amp, for example. And sometimes that's worth a lot. The tones I got from them felt pretty similar, a lot more similar than the stock 2203 model. And so basically the conclusion I have is that the HX Stomp model sounds really, really good. And despite the capture itself not being super accurate, once you get it adjusted, it can get really, really close. And really you can't go wrong with either unless you were A-Bing them back to back like we just did, I don't think you could tell the difference. And I also wanna point out that I don't think accurate means better. All these devices serve different people. And so it's important to find the one that works for you. Do you wanna buy something that has an ecosystem that's already widely adopted, tried and tested, and already has a way for you to get your sounds from the unit into a DAW? Then you go with Helix. Do you want a unit that does a little bit of everything even if it doesn't do any one single thing the best? That's this unit right here. So on the Helix itself, at least stock, it has more amp models than the Quad Cortex. And there are more settings that you can adjust with the amp models. You can adjust things like sag and bias. And even with the best captures you can possibly get on like Quad Cortex or Tonex, I still don't think they match the best component modeled amps in units like the Helix or the Fractal. Conversely, even though this actually does have less stock amp models than the HX Stomp, if you're missing an amp and you want it in this unit because you like like, let's say the touchscreen or the usability, you can just find someone with another unit 
capture that amp and you're 90% of the way there. And yeah, 90% might not be the most accurate, but you can probably make most of that 10% up with some tweaking. So it all depends on what you want. I'm doing these comparisons largely because I just feel like it's important for everyone to know the advantages and disadvantages of the different units. And so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Also, let me know what other comparisons you'd like to do between these units. And yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.